In this video, we're going to install and review a new electric vehicle charging station from Lectron. We have reviewed a lot of high quality products from Lectron in the past, and this is their new VVOX 48 amp EV charging station. This level 2 charger can provide 240 volts, 48 amp output, is Energy Star certified for J1172 EVs, including Tesla using their adapter. Let's go through the unboxing and installation, and then I'll share my thoughts about this new charging station. The box comes with all the mounting hardware, the owner's manual, and of course the charger itself. These large fat cables are indicators that this charger is capable of providing high power required to fast charge an electric vehicle. So what we need to do is, here's our NEMA 1450 plug, and this charger comes with the NEMA 1450, but a small issue that I have is my plug is towards the right side of the wall. And this one, if you look at it, how it mounts is that the NEMA 1450 ideally should be on the left side of the wall and then the, the charger on the right side of the wall. But in our case, that is not possible. So we are going to have to kind of cross these cables right here and then plug this here and then mount our cable on this side. So to mount this, we're gonna have to remove this back mounting plate first. And normally they would have, on the chargers that we reviewed from Electron last time, they had one that slide it into, but then this one actually has screws that are right here. So we're gonna have to remove these four screws and then install this mount back mounting plate. Then we're gonna have to put the charger and then put those screws back on. So once you have removed all four of the screws, then this plate just comes right out. So once you find your location that you wanna mount this at, so for me, it's gonna be here, you're gonna put your level and make sure that it is straight. So right now it's not, so we're gonna try to make this straight. So it'll be right here. Then once you have that, then go ahead and mark the holes that we're going to drill to mount this. So there are four holes that we're going to be drilling to mount this. Once you mark those four screws location, go ahead and use a drill to make those four holes. Next, go ahead and install the drywall anchors. These are the white anchors that came with the kit. Now you are ready to install the bracket. All you have to do is align the bracket with the drywall anchors and install those four screws. Make sure the bracket is really secure as this charging station is quite heavy. Once the bracket is secure, you can go ahead and push the charger into the bracket anchors. Then you just need to install those four screws removed earlier from the side. Go ahead and install those four screws. I would recommend using a screwdriver instead of a drill just to make sure you don't over tighten those screws. Keep in mind that the space is very tight, but still plenty to allow you to use a screwdriver. All right, now we need to figure out what do we do with this slack and that is where this holder comes in. So we would just install this holder right here. And then, so this would take care of that cable, but we're also gonna put this one on the very top right here so that we can put this charger at the end right there. So we're gonna install this right here for us. And again, same deal. We're gonna put the label and make sure that this is straight. So our label is right here showing straight and it's showing straight right here. So then once you find that, find that you're gonna put the markings again for this four screws that we're gonna be putting. So one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna drill and we're gonna put those screws in. Once you have those markings, go ahead and drill the four holes. Next, install the yellow drywall anchors that came with the kit on each of those four holes. Now time to install this. You just wanna make sure this top bracket, this notch actually goes on the very top. And then this one, the inner one goes towards the bottom. So you wanna ensure that is the case because that's how we're gonna mount the charger later on. So. We're going to combine this two right here, and then we're gonna put the screws in. Go ahead and install the four screws that came with the kit. Make sure this is secure because the cable is pretty heavy and the bracket needs to support the cable weight. So how this works is we are going to put this extra cable slack right here. Then this top one just goes and mounts right there. Now the only thing left to do is plug this NEMA 1450 plug right here, and then make sure the adapter turns on and we have power. And there is a little power button on the edge right here. We're just gonna push the power button and then we see light. Finally, you can use those rubber plugs to hide those four screws. The plugs do make the screws not visible from the side. Once everything is installed, if you have a J1172 EV, you can directly plug in the charger to your car. 
If you have a Tesla, you can connect the J1172 adapter, which you can also purchase from Lectern or Tesla and use the charger. My car can go up to 32 amps and this charger fully supports that limit. The newer Teslas can go much higher and this charger can easily accommodate those needs. This charger can charge about 30 miles per hour depending on the EV and the battery configuration. So this can fully charge my Tesla Model 3 which has a 260 mile range in about 8 hours. So this is what you can see from the screen. Right now there is that amp showing the time, the kilowatt hour, showing that it is 48 amps rated. 247 volt and then it's showing the temperature. So after successfully installing this electric vehicle charging station and testing it out with my Tesla here, uh, first of all, I really like the design. This looks very futuristic. This looks modern, minimalist design. And I really like this V LED right here. Uh, I don't know, this the, the appeal, it, it just has that aesthetic appeal. I really like that the installation was super easy. It came with all the hardware, you just had to mount it. This mounting took less than 30 minutes. So one of the easiest mounting of any electric charging stations that we have installed. So love the installation fact of it. I also really like that this can go up to 48 amps. My car can only take 32 amps and so do most of the electric vehicles are out there today. It can go up to 40 amps. Newer Teslas can go a little bit more than that. So having that capacity of 48 amp, almost future proves that any electric vehicle that I get in the future that might require higher charging limit, uh, this, this charging station can do it. So higher capacity, uh, higher amp production. I really like that about this charger. It comes with a long, extra long 20 foot of cable. So that gives you a flexibility of where you mount this because there's plenty of cable to reach from this side of the garage to the other side of the garage for me. I really like this super bright LCD screen with these big letters right here and they show the amps, it shows the live numbers of the voltage and as you can see this amps is increasing right now. I just plugged in the car and you can see the battery right here is charging the live maximum rated capacity, the live voltage here, the kilowatt hour. You can see a lot of this information directly on this screen. and. My Tesla doesn't even show all of that information on the charging screen. And a lot of EVs out there, even the Nissan Leaf, I tested with the other charger, it didn't show any of this information directly on the screen. So it's good to know that you know this information, you might not need it on a regular basis, but it's really nice to have this information displayed on the screen right here. This charging station has a water rating of IP55, so you could mount this outside, making it more versatile and flexible. Now let's move on to some of the things I didn't love about this setup. First of all, with this Tesla's J1172 plug, uh, I can't do this, right? This bracket that comes with the kit, I can't put it when this connector is installed. So I would have liked Electron to sell an optional or send it with the kit, an optional bracket like this when you specify you have a Tesla as well. So then you can just put this right here and if you just have the regular EV, that's fine. But then if you're gonna be constantly using it like me for Tesla, I would have liked this to be, you know, be able to adjust it right here instead of leave it hanging here. Another thing I would have liked is an app support of some sort for this charging station. Right now, without the app, you know, with the Tesla, I can't set the limit, but there are other EVs where you might not be able to set the charging limit at, you know, you might have to do it every single time. So having an app where you can not only see the information, but be able to set up a departure time or a charging limit, when to start charging, when to stop charging, all of that optional feature would have been really nice. Overall, I'm really satisfied with this setup, with this VVox from Lectern. This is a really great electric charging station and very comparable to other models that you can find on their website, but this one just has a really high capacity. It can go to 48 amp, and this is the highest rated amp that they have for the charging station. I like how it looks, I like the installation, I like the long cable that it comes with. Um, overall, it's a great solution, especially for folks who have a Tesla and a non-Tesla EV uh, where you need to charge both of your EVs. This is a great solution, so, so then that becomes compatible with both. But even if you're just a Tesla owner, this is another option for you compared to the Tesla's wall connector. And if you're looking for a different solution, this is a great alternative. 
I'm going to put a link down below for this electric vehicle charging station as well as the link for Lectern, their website, main website, where you can see a lot of other products. We have some products coming on the way that we'll be reviewing here, but if you have any of the products that you see on their website that you would like me to review, please let me know and I'll work with Lectron on reviewing that product. Please let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions about this product or any other product that we have reviewed in this channel. Thank you so much for your continuous support to the channel. Thank you for watching this video. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel and I'll be back again with another electric vehicle video. Namaste.